What's up guys, I'm Dylan. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how I cut out a body as well as prep it for nitro racing. Uh, a few things you'll need is obviously a body, brand new, nothing in it, just paint, nothing in it at all. Uh, you can use a pair of scissors. I'm gonna show you how to use a pair of scissors as well as an X-Acto knife to cut it out. You're also gonna need some white tape. The reason I say white tape is because if you use black tape on the inside, depending on what colors on the on the paint job as well as how thick the paint is, you might be able to see the black tape through the paint job if you hold it up to the sun and uh, you should never see it when it's on the car because there's no light coming from inside the car out. But still, if you use white tape, then you don't ever have to worry about it. The last thing is some silicone or like sink caulk. Uh, this is clear, but you can use white. I've used white in the past and it works just fine clear as well works just fine I actually got the clear an accident and it's just what I'm using right now uh, you can also use any water-based silicone so if you can't find this at the store then I'll hold it up so you can see it if you can't find that at the store water uh, water-based silicone is totally fine that works too I've had some customers use that with no problems at all uh, the reason why I use caulk or silicone is because uh, E6000 and Shugu which is what most people use uh, will eat my paint that I use. I use Spastix paint for the color and Createx paint for the white. And something about those two paints combined together uh, have a reaction with E6000 and Shugu, but not with this. So this is all safe. This can go in the paint, not affect the paint as well as fuel can get all over this and not affect this, where if fuel gets on this paint right here, anywhere where fuel hits the paint will just basically wipe right off and obviously that's not what you want in a brand new body because when you're fueling the car up stuff uh happens you know fuel spills it's whatever or if the tank i've seen it uh, just not even close all the way and you flip over the whole tank just spills all up in the roof uh all of that paint will just come right off but with what i'm going to show you you won't have any problems you can just wipe it off with a rag and you're good to go for the next race so let's get into it all right, guys, first I'm going to show you how I cut out the sides. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is take some body scissors and just roughly go uh, cut, cut this chunk out of the body so that uh, you have an easy access to the start of the side. And then you'll do the same on the front. A uh, little trick to help with scissors with these curved scissors. These are from J Concepts. Uh, is have the curve of the scissor going away from your knuckles. So if you're right-handed, have them going away from your knuckles, start from the right side and go left. It seems to just cut in the nicest. And then if you're left-handed, do the same thing, have them sticking away from your knuckles, but then go from left to right. All right, so now that we have these chunks out front and back, now we have super easy access to get to the start and end of the sides. Uh, I am going to use the scissors on the sides. I am pretty good at getting a straight line. A lot of people have a hard time with these curved scissors getting a straight line. I just recommend using just the very tip, like don't open it more than that. And uh, cause obviously if, you, if you're opening it about this much, then you're getting to that curved point and then you're gonna be making little waves in your line. So I'll try to get a camera angle to where you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just use the very tip of the knife. I'm gonna be wiggling the body around so I can see the reflection of that little line. And on the sides, I uh, have the, the curve of the, of the scissors pointing towards my knuckles so that my hand is not sticking into the body because if I flip this around and I have the scissors pointing away from my knuckles, then my hand is gonna be wanting to go into the body and it's going to be really awkward to cut. So if I have them sticking towards my knuckles, then the handle is going to be away from the body and much easier to cut once I get further along that line. All right, that side's all done extremely straight pretty much no wiggle lines at all right back here there's a burr so i need to clean that up 
I can clean that up at the very, very end. No, to, no worries. I'm gonna go do that on the other side and then I'll show you all the next step. All done with both sides. Now the next step, I'm, I always do the back. So the first thing I do is just totally get rid of this back part and then we'll worry about the two sides. So this one again, I'm gonna have the scissors pointing towards my knuckles so that my hand is not interfering. I'm gonna go from left to right as I'm looking at it with, with being right-handed. Just come over the top. Down, so now that back part is completely out. Now we can worry about the sides. And this is where I'm gonna bring the X-Acto knife in. You don't have to use the X-Acto knife if you're not comfortable with that. I do not recommend that to anybody who is uh, maybe I don't know, not too good with their hands as far as being precise, because if it slips just a little bit, it'll go into the body. Like if I'm trying to cut along this line and it slips into the body, then you have one or two bad crashes and that's gonna slice the body right in half. So I will not recommend doing uh, the knife at all if you are not steady with your hands. Now, if you don't wanna use the knife and you wanna use your scissors, this is gonna be the same as uh, you doing that first cut that I did when I just took this chunk out of the back of the very first part, you're gonna have the curve pointing away from your knuckles, starting from right, going to left, just right along that. And if you do it right and get a few times of practice, you can do that perfect, no burrs, no nothing, and you'll, you won't even have to dremel and make a mess out of, out of your workbench. So that's always nice. But I'm gonna show y'all how I use the exact. I'm gonna start not not all the way on the edge because if I start on the edge and try to pull, the knife will get kind of snagged on the edge, and then once it gets off the edge, it might slip. So I'm not gonna start on the edge. I'm gonna start, say around here, do this whole side, and then go back and do that little bit, and go really slow so you don't slip. So now that that's done and I got it scored, now I'm just gonna bend the body and crease it right on that line that I cut and it should just pop right out. And boom, that whole spot is completely done. I'm just gonna round it with the scissors and then do this other side. For the front side here, I'm just gonna do this off camera cause I know I'm not gonna get a good angle of it. Uh, but I'm gonna basically use the knife the whole time, just for me, because I'm very comfortable with that. But uh, you can get rid of some of this access stuff with the scissors, just have the, the blade sticking away or angling away from your knuckles, and you can just snip away some extra Lexan. You can, for this low C body, there's a little nose piece. You can, yeah, you can kind of see it. So you can snip off the nose piece on both sides, kind of wrap around there a little bit and get rid of some of the excess uh, if it makes it a little easier for yourself. Uh, the reason why the scissors are a little bit difficult for in places in the front is because you can see that indent. It's really hard to get up in there and make a nice cut. Now you can always get close and then Dremel. I'm just super against Dremels because it makes such a mess. And when I'm inside, uh, I really just don't want all that uh, dust everywhere. So I'm gonna use the knife and the scissors and I'll get right back to you on the next step. Just thought of one thing while I'm doing this. So I've scored this first line that comes up, up right here and forward, and I stopped right here. So I'm gonna do this in sections. So what I did is I've just scored just that little L right there. I'm gonna use the scissors to come up and meet. And then once that's cut, all I'm left with is just the scored spot. And I'll crack that out and then do that little detailed spot in there so that all of this leg stands out of my way. So I've cut some excess out of the way. I just uh, cut straight across with the scissors here and then just cracked this piece off. And then there was this ledge right here that I got rid of on this side just so there's less st structural support right there. So when I go to score this part with the knife, it should be able to crack off just a bit easier. All right, so an update, I got the other side done. I wasn't being careful enough and I scratched off some paint, but with the white duct tape, 
that'll get covered right back up. So no big deal there. But Brandon, the owner of this body, don't be mad at me. Uh, and then I did this other notch with the scissors actually, with the uh, blade sticking out away from me. And I went from right to left. And there is a couple little burrs. I mean, I'm talking little tiny burrs, but I'm gonna clean that up with the X-Acto blade. Basically what I'm gonna do is just take it on my fingers right here, not like go crazy on it and just clean that up. And then same on the back side. I'm gonna just check and make sure this is all perfectly clean and just kind of clean that up if I need to. Uh, but after that, we'll move on to the next part, which is cutting out the tank opening. For the next step on the tank opening, generally I'd use an, a, a body reamer, but my body reamer is not in the house, it's out in the garage, so I'm not gonna worry about that. What I've done before those, I just take some scissors and just literally puncture through it and twist it around and it'll get right through, so. All we need is a hole to get started. So there, we'll get the, the scissors in there. What you're gonna wanna do is have the blade sticking away from your knuckles. If you're right-handed, at least this is how I do it. I just wedge it in there and just start going around. Uh, you don't have to get right on the line the first time around. Uh, just get a majority of this plastic out of your way and then the next time around you can cut on the line and get the rest uh, of the hole out of there. First cut's done. Just got a little chunk out of there. Uh, next step, I'll go on the actual line that I should follow that the body gives you and uh, I'll come right back to you on that. So now that you've done that, there's gonna be some little spots, especially right here every time, because it's hard to get your knuckles down in here. That's my spot every time that I have to clean up. You can either use a Dremel or uh, also right here this time. I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife and use the same method I used up front and just whittle away at that. So just put in my fingertips so I can't slip and go too far. And if you have a dull blade, this just will not work well at all. So get a new blade and you just want to get away, get rid of all those burrs. Cause if there are any little slices into the body, uh, after a few hard crashes that will start splitting up in the body. And that's obviously the last thing you want. All right, so that's all done. I'm not gonna do the engine hole because he doesn't know where the engine's actually gonna sit in this body. We've never used this body on that car before. Uh, and the reason I'm using a customer's body on this one is because I'm not painting a body for myself soon and I wanted to get this video out. I've had a lot of questions recently uh, on how I do the, all this. And so I just wanted to get this video out really fast as soon as possible. And so yeah, that's why I'm using a body that's not mine. So I won't be completing the whole process. like. I'm gonna be done with cutting it out. All he's gonna to have to do is cut the motor out, uh, the pipe hole and the body clip holes because I'm not sure how big to make those uh, for this body. So, all right, so after that, we're going to go to protecting the inside. Hopefully this all helps uh, so far on how to cut it out. I know a lot of people have problems with the waviness and how to get into here uh, and obviously here as well. First thing we're gonna do is apply duct tape absolutely everywhere where paint is going to rub onto side guards or if you know your air filter rubs on the top or if there's a throttle servo horn that rubs, anywhere that it rubs, we need to use the tape first. So what I know for sure it will rub is the side guards. So I'm gonna do that first. Uh, and that's probably all I'll do on this body since again, we've he has, he has never ran this body on the low C car. So we don't know where like the motor mount hole is and where other things will rub. So I'm just gonna get a strip, a really long strip, set it down onto the body. It's gonna overlap off the edge, which is fine. We'll, uh, I'll show you how to deal with that once I get it on. Once you get the duct tape on and it's overlapping, obviously this body's quite a bit, 
you're gonna take your uh, your knife and start on one side. So hold hold the tape down really tight and uh, basically just cut away, uh, cutting uh, away from where you're starting and sliding out away from the body and it'll cut right off. So once I get to this edge, I'll just rip the rest. So there's a chunk off and uh, then again, you're gonna start it here and just go along the edge. You can also use a pair of scissors. Uh, I've, I've found these scissors at Hobby Lobby. They seem to work really well in this. Uh, body scissors don't seem to cut the tape too well. They just kind of get mushy in the tape and don't really cut it. So if you're not comfortable with the knife, you can always get a really sharp pair of scissors and cut along this as well. And then for here on the edge, I'm just gonna use the scissors to get around the the, the uh, curve real nice. And then I'm also gonna put a patch up on this tape or this uh, paint spot that came off and then cut again. And just like that, that spot of paint that fell off is completely not noticeable. That is an upside to using the Dremel that will never happen. But uh, again, the mess to me is just not worth it. And I'm sure Brandon won't mind since I'm doing this body for free for him, <laughs> just so I can do this demonstration video for y'all. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Uh, now that this tape is here, do the same thing on this other side and then we'll get going on the next step. We're on the last step now. So the last step for this process is protecting it from fuel. Uh, as well as you can also, uh, I recommend, I just remembered to, once you get the holes cut out for the body post, put a patch of duct tape there and then uh, cut it out. You can just use an X-Acto knife, poke through the hole and kind of round around the hole. And, uh, or you can use a body reamer if you want as well. Either way, that'll protect the paint itself from scratching off from where the body posts are gonna rub it from flexing and all that good stuff. But now the last step. Uh, what you're going to do is we're going to apply this caulk or silicone, whichever one you want, whichever one you can find, uh, to absolutely everywhere where the fuel is going to hit. So what I found, the fuel hits on the, t on the tank side of the body, this entire side, all the way to the back. Because if you spill, if your fuel guy spills fuel and it, it s starts dripping down the inside of the body on this side and you start going forward, it's going to rush back. And, uh, I've, I've found my bodies have fuel all the way back to right, right around here and then it drops off. So we're going to apply the silicone all the way from the front of, of this side of the body all the way to the back, uh, basically under the, under the window so we don't have to worry about right here too much. And we obviously don't have to go over the tape because the tape's protecting the paint there. So just from the edge of the window all the way down to the edge of the tape, we're also going to do the roof and this A pillar right here. I'm not too worried about anything up here up front because I've never seen fuel hit there and I've never seen fuel hit back here, just on the roof. So if your fuel guy spills some fuel and you flip over on your outlap, that fuel's gonna drop down onto the roof just a little bit. So uh, you'll wanna protect that and this fuel side. So basically, super simple. You're just gonna put a little drop down right here, or I guess a good size drop and use our fingers to uh, push it around so I'll get the drop put down first so put a good blob like a really good size blob down and we're just gonna spread it out really thin it does not have to be thick at all oh, I got a tough spot let's put that on a paper towel and keep going Yeah, I've done some experimenting on how thick I need to make this stuff. At first I did it really thick, and then the next few times I did it really thin to see if the uh, fuel would, would go through it, and it does not. So as long as there's a coating over the paint, you're all good. And one upside to using the clear stuff I've found is if you get it over the onto the windshield a little, or on the window a little bit, it doesn't matter. It'll dry clear and you'll hardly be able to see it. 
can just use your finger to get it right up against that window line. And uh, have a paper towel right beside you. So when you, you can use your middle finger to wipe off from places you don't want it to be, and then just wipe it on that paper towel. And I'm being a little extra, getting it very smooth. You don't really need to do that. I'm just getting it very thin and very smooth. Totally not needed. Again, as long as it covers, that's all that's needed. And then take a really close look and just make sure there's no spots missing because if you missed a little tiny spot, fuel's gonna get in there and take the paint right off. So all right, I got uh, this side done. Now I'm gonna put a blob down in the roof and continue there. And if you just do what I just did, which could be, a, you could say a huge mistake, just rub that off the window. It's no big deal. It'll come right off. No big deal. As well as if uh, you're not sure if the air filter will rub right here, this actually will protect from the air filter rubbing. Since the air filter is not a hard plastic piece, it's not going to rub through that caulk. So this will protect the paint from the air filter kind of rubbing the paint off over time now if you just use caulk on the side guards though uh it, the the side guards will rub through the silicone that's why we put the duct tape there all right last part is this a pillar you're gonna clean off the edges of your fingers so you don't get it all over the window of course you don't want to get on the window if you don't have to but if again if you do it's no big deal all right there we go i don't know if you can see that my bad but uh got everything done the entire tank side is done the entire roof is done and just that one a pillar is all done so hopefully this video helps uh this thing will be completely done in 30 minutes or so it'll dry it dries pretty fast and it doesn't smell bad so you can do this inside no problem like i'm doing it's not going to stink up your house uh hopefully this helps y'all uh basically this is what i try to explain to all my customers uh what i do if you want a paint job done, I am DCRC Designs, Dylan Caldwell at DCRC Designs. Uh, I, I'll put my links in, in the description so you can check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, hit me up or send me a message if you uh, want a paint job done and I can hook you up. Just like this one and a few more you can check out on the Facebook page. So hope this helps guys and uh, feel free to subscribe. I might have more videos similar to this if uh, needed. Please comment if you have any more questions and I can either make an update video or uh, just answer your comment in the comments. So thanks guys, peace out.